What is up my good people, the name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, not only did I go to the last sanctuary, the Fire Spring, but I also managed to go back into the accursed realm known as Magicant. And I believe I beat the shit out of three Krakens back in the Sea of Eden, and all of a sudden, we're back over here in Saturn Valley, alright? This is supposedly the phase disorder. The thing that Dr. Andonuts and the Apple Kid were both working on. I went ahead, you know, did some inventory management and whatnot. I think I'm fine for the most part, you know, I didn't change too much. I didn't change uh, too many items from last time. So, no, no need for me to dilly-dally any longer. Let's just get right into it. Hello? Can I get in? Can I get in the phase distorter? Hello? Yes, 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 he is exceptional. Hold on. There we go, I needed to talk to Andonuts again. Fuck. <laughs> hmm, it doesn't work. One thing is missing. But that one material cannot normally be found on the Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? Uh, there's the one in Annette. Eureka! That's it! With even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material Xenonite. I doubt that your mortal enemy Gygus or whatever will allow you to go to Annette and, and get a piece of that meteorite. By now, Annette is in his full hands? What? Mr. Sanders have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. I already, I already checked, I already checked out what the shop was. I wonder what Annette is like at this point in time. What the fuck do you mean Annette is bad and shit? What do you mean? What do you know that I don't? Anyways, you said there was a meteor right when you were much younger, so what? Are you like, is Dr. Andonuts Ninten? Bum bum bum. Alright, I'm back in on that. Things out of the ordinary, but why is it dark all of a sudden? Where are all the people? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> none of the shops are open. Doc, why the fuck didn't you tell me earlier that Annette was in Gygus's hands? Dog, this is not good. Not good. What happened to the beautiful city of Annette? What? Alright, that's BS. That was actually BS. How the fuck did that guy manage to get to me first? That is some major bullshit. If I ever heard or saw any. Ways it looks like we're all totally um okay, I guess. I'm still pretty overpowered, so once again, no need for me to dilly dally any longer. But yeah, Doc, why the fuck didn't you tell me earlier that my hometown was being invaded? Kind of a dick move. The ghost of Starman. Well, fuck it, just bash him. I'm not here to use any PSI or whatnot. Just bash him. Bash the fuck out of him. Oh shit. No. <laughs> Wait, wait, come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 hold up, hold up now, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I was about to say, Jeff still hasn't attacked yet. That was... <laughs> that was not good. That was not good at all. Don't tell me you... Don't tell me you took away my mother as well. My mother and my sister. Little bitch, Gygus. Where the fuck did you put them? Alright, let's go. No more Starman. And we have this jackass over here who barely does any damage. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, baby. Let's go. Anyways, I'm getting huge XP and yet I'm nothing is really happening one. Um, what the fuck's happening? Oh Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around on net now. 
The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Sure, I'll eat some. Hey, thanks for you. Thank you very much. I am a little bit more relaxed. At this point, you guys just might be the strongest force in the world, don't you think? Oh, you're damn right, Kink. You're damn right. I'm the most stacked in the entire world. Hey, yo, are you fine? I only hope you're keeping your items here. I support you wholeheartedly. Don't get yourself knocked out. Strong while you're gone. No. <laughs> I don't need to uh, take out any more items from you. I already have everything I need. Yeah, it's glad to see that at least my family here, I guess Ness's family, is okay, doing well, but still though, the fact that, once again, I feel like I should mention this, Doc did not fucking tell me that Unnet was being invaded. Dick move, pal, dick move. So there are three of these guys? Come on now. God damn, these guys are everywhere, what the hell? Hey yo, open up. Pokey, you fuck, you better- I swear to god, you're still in there, I know you are. Urgh, open up the door, you fuck. Look what you've done, dumb bitch. He's unironically helping Gygus. This is what I was saying earlier, Pokey's gotta be in cahoots with Gygus. And there are still more of these guys. And how many of these guys do I have to go through? Just to get to that stupid meteor. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> I'm so stacked, I'm able to just one-shot these guys. I still kind of feel bad that I'm getting all of this XP, and yet I'm not doing anything good with it, because I'm maxed out. Entirely. Hey yo, is this G still over here? Wasn't he the one who dug up the Mani Mani statue? Clear X... Aggerate. Aggerate, whatever. Clear, whatever the fuck your name is. You dipshit, you've been the one... This dipshit has to be in cahoots with Gygus as well. There's no shot. And this man showed me the Mani Mani statue and was like, Yeah, just don't tell anyone or whatnot. This man has to know something that I don't. Meteorite still there. Now that I'm thinking about it, was the meteorite always still there? I think I remember going up there in Annette before and like I didn't see it there. I don't know, I'll have to look at the footage. There's something shiny that you can reach. Do you wanna try and get it? Damn straight. You're right, peace, let's go! Seems like a big meteorite landed here not too long ago. Okay, I have the meteorite now. What now? Do I just go back to Saturn Valley? God damn, there's literally no good place for me to use my teleport whatsoever. Oh fuck, that's a lot of that's a lot of enemies. Oh <laughs> I'm right next to home, so Oh why not? It's, it's funny how I mentioned last episode that I would never think about using that. Like, I'm right next to home. Like, I can heal up right away. So, like, you know, no harm done, I guess. I swear, if these guys are going to be telling me, oh, uh, <laughs> all of the PSI that you just used ain't going to be useful against any of these guys. I'm a little upset. Or why does this asshole get to do PSI Starstorm first? What the hell? And Paul is about to be dead. Fuck. Oh man. Come on, guys. Can you please die after this? Please? One's down. The other's down. Hurry up! Hurry up! Paul's almost dead! Hurry up! Oh my god. Let's go. Sheesh! <laughs> Almost gave me a heart attack. Alright, I'm finally here on the streets of Unnet. I also just remembered, I could technically heal up in Saturn Valley, so I don't even need to make a pit stop back home. 
I can just go straight to Saturn Valley, just take the hotel room. And just heal up from there. You see the hotel? The hotel is right here! Man, I'm so big-brained. Yes, thank you very much. I would very much love to slumber. Thank you very much. Everyone is sauced up. Now, let's do this thing again. Uh, here you go, Doc. Here's a meteorite piece that you wanted. Ah, yes! This is fantastic! What? Well... I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It's very intriguing. Alright, leave everything to us and you go get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. Yes, most intriguing. Oh, what? Can I not Can I not go in the thing or whatnot? Let me in, let me in, let me in. The phase distorter will certainly be completed someday, in my humble opinion. Oh, you're gonna let me use it or whatnot? What do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean, leave everything to you? What, you want me to end the episode right here and there? What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Hello? Hello? Alright, Doc, so I slept now. Finally, it's complete the phase sorted version 2. It's equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get right in! There is just one thing though. You might not be able to return, so make sure you're optimally outfitted. Uh, no. Even if you're not 100% perfectly, completely ready, you should be as prepared as possible. It would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. Excellent, excellent! Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Andonuts, Mr. Saturn, and I worked together and finally completed the phase disorder. The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. This prototype can only travel to two different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now is indicating the presence of enemies in the lost underworld. Not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead of you. I'm gonna have to stay here for a while and help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty. Alright, you've already told me that before, bub. Anyways. I actually was prepared. <laughs> Um, I got the rest of the bags of dragon ice that I had in my inventory, which was literally just one from Escargot Express. And I stocked up a little bit more on brain food lunches. I got a lot of them, so in the event that Ness, Paula, Pooh are really low on P and PSI and whatnot. And HP, I'll just use it to them. <laughs> Unfortunately, my boy Jeff is just gonna have to deal with the crappy life up seconds that either Ness or Pooh are gonna have. And speaking about Jeff, I also bought some extra multi-bottle rockets just for him. Give him the poo. So let's get in this bad boy. Can I get in, can I get in here from here? No, I have to talk to Doc. All right, Doc, I'm ready. Yes, I have heard the two features that you told me. Let's get in this sucker. Well, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> That was generally easier than I thought. Cool. Can I get back in? Put your command. Life up! <laughs> Thank you very much, Doc. What the fuck? <laughs> Greetings! So you are finally here. Excellent. You are truly excellent. There's only a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Who became conscious of PSI Storm Omega? Interesting. How much are how much are we talking about, Pooh? 42 from 24. It's 720 points of damage. Yo, that that sounds Good, actually. That's just one bottle of DX water right there. <laughs> Anyways, why does this sound? Why does this sound like the fucking? Yeah, this looks. This looks like the stupid um. This cave of the past, or whatever it was called, back in the fucking lost underworld. Um, the face distorter has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gygus is attacking from our exact location. He's attacking from many years in the past. 
Doc, what is going on here? What is going on here? Let's check the broken face. The story. There's a horn of life. Cool, I guess. Just have more sh crap on my fucking inventory. Bit of Paul for the time being. Go, Paul. Kidnapped, I was doing. Kidnapper. Wait, no. Kidnapper, I. Uh, fuck. Come on, Mr. Saturn. Why does your D's and your B's look weird? Kidnapped, I was. Boing. Kidnapper, bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom. Where to the past? Ding ding. Okay, never mind. His D's and his B's are completely different. We here too, boing. I just could not. I never realized what the fuck is B's or his D's. I'm, I'm just stupid. You must warp to the past and fight, but. This is very hard for me to tell you, but. What, Doc? What's hard for you to tell me? In order to defeat Gygus, who's attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done by the way of the face distorter 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things, I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot. Send the robot to the past. Transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. Yet you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. You wish to face Gaius by traveling in the past? No. <laughs> no, just no. <laughs> Snatch the field away as you do. The only thing left is the destruction of our plant. Come on, Doc. You're, you're telling me that I'm, I have to transfer my spirit? You're telling me I have to transfer my spirit into a robot and then go back to the past? Here's a better question. Why the fuck are there two phase disorders? Are, are, are you guys from the past or something? Are you from the past, Apple Kid? Are you, or are you from the future? Why, why are there so many phase disorders, hello? Why are there two phase disorders? Well, the first one that I went to that brought me over to the caves of the past that can only travel through space. However, the phase distorter 3 that Doc and Apple Kid came out of can travel through both space and time. However, I'm still confused as to why the fuck I wasn't just given the third phase distorter right away. Here's another thing that I just realized. If the person who took the prototype phase distorter traveled to the past, why is it broken in the present? Shouldn't he have taken the phase distorter itself? To the past as well why is it in the present and if it was able to travel through time and space to begin with why couldn't we just make face distorter to travel through space and time why is there a third one <laughs> what the fuck doc ah <sighs> god damn it doc and you're not gonna shut the fuck up fine i didn't want to do this <laughs> Why? The fuck do- Why the fuck do I have to be the chosen one? Why couldn't- Why couldn't someone else be the fucking chosen one? Hmm, you accept this while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Yes, dog, please do not share with me the specifics to find print or whatnot. Look, do you want the world to end or not? I see, you really have set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Yes, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. I do not feel comfortable listening to this, nor do I feel comfortable watching this. I am literally watching a mad scientist. Presumably, screw the brains of these young, innocent children into a robot to fight against some bullshit space evil monster that wants to destroy the planet. I... I don't... I don't know what to say. Yes, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son. There is no turning back now. Ness, activate Phase Distorter 3 by your own hand. Thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Say no. 
Jeff, you do it? <laughs> no, oh, you lost your nerve. No. Fine, let Jeff do it. <laughs> Only a few people know of your amazing courage. I'll let Jeff take the glory, why not? <laughs> but the number of people you saved through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. Let's know this is Doc. We might not come back. <laughs> this is gonna be at your hands. Not mine. Yours. <laughs> uh, laughing is the only way how I can cope. What the fuck? Oh no, my boys! <laughs> this doesn't look natural. What the actual fuck am I looking at? Do I at least get the life up command? Let's communicate. Oh, communicating must be with my dad. Shit, can I come from different points in space and time? That'd be nice, that'd be cool. Squatter demon. No clue who you are, but you know, just go with all reliable. Just fucking bash the shit out of y'all. Let's go, Paula. That's what I'd like to see, baby. Nothing is gonna remove my embarrassment more than <laughs> fucking forgetting to hit <laughs> continue recording. Cause I pressed pause for God's sakes. Anyways, I, I was trying to say that I was over here. Cause I wanted to see what was up here. Cause I didn't want to just go beyond. Looks like there's nothing over here. Also, we <laughs> there's enemies everywhere. I also showed off PSI Star Storm Omega, but again, because I didn't, I, because I didn't click on play the recording, uh, it's not there anymore. Oh God, nuclear reactor robot! I don't know what it does, but I don't want to find out what it does. Thankfully, guys, guys, I was about to say, thankfully, everyone is pretty stacked. But apparently, we keep missing! Alright, guys. Please just take out this thing. It's probably gonna blow up into like three gajillion pieces. Or it's just gonna do that. Guys, come on! Please, for the love of God, destroy this thing. I do not want to stay in this battle for long. And it exploded, of course. Not oh, my boy, Jeff! Anyway, why did Jeff take the most damage? What the hell? Don't I have to start pinning on everyone? Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, there's a green. There's a green. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. A multi-bottle rocket. Look at that. Look at that. I'll take it. Oh, no present. Damn it. I'll take a free multi bottle rocket any day of the fucking week. I was about to say, dog, there's no way all of these guys are scared of me. I get it. I'm pretty stacked, not gonna lie. But still, though. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do I get poison from one bite? What, what kind of BS is that? Uh, I'll just use healing. I don't want to use the horn of life. Alright, buddy. Get back over here. And you brought along a friend. Oh, these guys are everywhere, aren't they? These guys are not going to give me a chance to breathe. Oh, you thought- you actually thought you could flash on me, but guess what, jackass? I have the star pendant! <laughs> Your flashes do not work on me. Let's go, baby. Why?! Oh, how many enemies are there over there? 
Oh my god! You're really not gonna give me any... You're really not gonna give me any leeway here, are you, Gygus? Legendary Ben, hmm? Oh, that's right, I had too much crap on my... Uh, I'll give this to... Shit! I can't give it to anyone. Uh, lucky for you, I have a face distorter in my Switch. It is called Power of Time and Space. So, therefore, I will give this Paula. And this can be given to Ness. Alright, it's gonna be a bat, I know that, so. 5 to 20, it looks like it does exactly the same thing. Why the hell is this thing here? Oh, well, what does it do? What does it do better that the magic can't bat? What does it do better that the magic can't bat can't do? I'm looking at the stats and there's nothing that it does better. Yet, I can still have it, so... What? Whatever. Shouldn't throw the magic hand bat away. Oh, fuck off! I can't throw it away. If I can't throw it away, then what do I do with this legendary bat then? I throw it away? Dog, I don't- I literally do not have any more space. I can't believe I am doing this. But... I, I literally have to leave this behind. <laughs> what what purpose do I have to get it? <laughs> it doesn't increase my offense. It doesn't increase any additional stats. <laughs> what not? It's pointless for me to have it. Weird giant orb. Okay. Oh, butterfly. Uh, does anyone need some healing? Now what, what, what am I saying? Everyone always would love some healing. You thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. We got it. We got ourselves a magic butterfly. As well as a fight. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, so there's another orb over here. So I just went to that. Sorry that I'm not really saying anything over here. <laughs> in the caves of the past, but... I don't know, all of these guys are <laughs> kind of easy for me. I'm fuck I'm fucking stacked and whatnot. <laughs> all of these guys are just beat like, immediately, just like this. All I just have to do is bashing them and whatnot. Now, here's the thing that I'm a little conflicted on. Apparently there are two items. There are two items that I can get for both Ness and Paula. That I can only get through enemy drops. And once again, we're talking about the 1 in 128th chances. And, um, I believe it was the gutsy bats for Ness. Which, even though I just said that I don't want another bat from the legendary bat, the difference between that and the gutsy bat is that the gutsy bat gives guts. A lot of guts. 127 guts, if I remember correctly. But again, that's a 1 in 128th chances. And it's from an enemy that I still have not fucking seen yet. So, I'm just here wondering, I'm like, well, do I want to do it? And also, do I want to farm this goddess ribbon or whatnot for Paula? Because, you no, know, it's just, it will give her more defense or whatnot. Like, now that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, I think the only reason, <laughs> I was actually reading into it, the only reason why the legendary bat doesn't give me anything more for magic and bat is that 255 is like the cap. <laughs> That's the actual cap. I can't go any higher than that. And, again, the Gutsy Bat it gives, should, in theory, give me more offense. Which I don't really need because I already capped it. But it gives me more Guts. But at the same time, like I said before, I need to fight it from an enemy that I have not fucking seen throughout this entire time. Plus, I'm getting a little impatient and I just want to finish this game. And also, I feel like if I, was, if I just had like all this Guts and whatnot and just went up to Gygus and like beat the shit out of him with it... Like, I, I'll be, I'll be a little unfair. I'll be a little unfair. I don't want this to be a repeat of, of Earthbound Beginnings or whatnot. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't want this to be a repeat of Earthbound Beginnings. It's the most underwhelming fight known to the history of mankind. 
So I'm kind of getting a little scared here, not gonna lie. Oh. Um that thing's there. You know what? I think this might be a good time to um Maybe give maybe give a brain lunch to everyone because how far down is my PSI? Look at that, it's barely anything. I really only need to give a brain lunch to Ness. <laughs> That's um, it's interesting. <laughs> I have all this crap and I'm not even gonna be able to use it at all. Fuck! I just realized I should have used life up first. God. Okay, everybody's sauced up now, so no need to dilly-dally any longer. I've said that so many times throughout this episode. It's time for the reckoning. Hey, would you look at that? It's me! <laughs> it's me on that eyeball-looking thing. Yo, what's up? Oh... Ness, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction. But I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gygus. Gygus will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gygus, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this, Master Gygus. No, Gygus is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself, which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. I can finally beat the shit out of Pokey? Oh, I have to fight both of them. Really? I have to fight both of them? Um, okay then. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Alright, you guys. You guys should know the drill by now. Offense up. Shield killer. Oh, what? Okay, I can only do it a one. Fuck it, I'll do it a pokey instead then. If I have to do it a pokey then... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, I'll think about this, I'll, I'll think about this. I should- actually, I shouldn't really think about this, this is hard. I use the shield killer to- Really, you can use rockin' as well. That's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, what? What? Oh, no shot. Fuck. Well, it went up again, I guess. Let's go, Ness! What? Uh, uh, no, please don't kill Paula. Please do not kill Paula. Oh, uh, oh, uh, wait a minute. Who do, who do I need to do? What do I do it? Oh, 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 everybody, just bash Pokey. Bash him. Please, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, and Paula's dead, isn't she? Fuck. Didn't work on Paula, though. Let's go. Oh. No. Oh, my God. My speed is trash. It's basura. <laughs> Uh, fuck it. I have a brain lunch, don't, don't I? Uh, defend. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, help, Jeff. Thank you. Wait a minute, did I put her on guard? I thought, I didn't mean to put her on guard, fuck. Damn it, why do we keep hitting Jeff? What did Jeff do to you? I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. 
Well, it is a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gygus. You must feel pretty stupid enough to keep fighting without even knowing what Gygus looks like. If you were to ever see Gygus, you'd be so petrified with fear. You'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So, do you want me to turn off the devil's machine? Well, prepare to be amazed. So, isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gygus cannot think rationally anymore. And he is, he's, <laughs> fuck, I can't speak. He isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yup, that's what he is. <laughs> and you, you will be just another meal to him. Uh, so who the fuck is Pokey working? So you tell me you <laughs> worked for Gygus. Even though he doesn't like Gygus? What? What is going on? <laughs> what the fuck is actually going on? I can't. Damn it, I wish I could give that multi ball rocket to Jeff. Still, though, that just doesn't fucking make any sense whatsoever. Uh, f fuck. Fuck this. Actually, actually, actually. Uh, ba 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 ba. Let's freeze him, I guess. I feel like the best course of action will be to use the neutralizer. Yeah, just s s start off. Start off from square one. Yes. Cannot grasp the true form of Gygus. Yes, I cannot grasp the true form of Gygus. Despite the fact that Gygus only did about 10 damage to me. As much as I don't like to be the... As much as I don't like that, at the very least there's no longer any shields. I'm no longer below defense or whatnot. Um, I don't have another brain launch, do I? Actually I do, I should in theory. Actually, what the fuck am I doing? PSI Flash? On Gygus? The embodiment of all evil? I feel like I'm just better off using another bag of Dragonite. On God. Uh... PSI Shield, Offense Up. PSI Shield, Offense Up. PS uh, offense Up. That's gonna be way better. In the long run. Defense. Shower. And we're gonna do a little bit of shielding. We do a little bit of shielding, you know? I just want everyone to know that we do a little bit of shielding. And we're being sauced up once again by Paula. Yes, you cannot grasp the truth from Gygus attack. Are you- don't attack just Paula, what the fuck? Let's go, Jeff. What, you didn't do it to Pooh as well, or did I not see it? Um, what, what, what am I honestly doing here? <laughs> what am I honestly doing here? I feel like I almost should use defense down <laughs> Omega because I don't know who else is fucking here. Multi bottle. <laughs> Why am I so afraid? Just throw everything at him. I have more than enough items to help me out. <laughs> you must really be at the end of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of this universe. That's so sad. I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> Why not call your mommy, Ness? Say, mommy, daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm going to wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. 
No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry. Your pitiful suffering will be over soon. <laughs> Fuck, it didn't work on Gygus. Uh, don't worry. I'm still gonna rock the absolute fucking world out of Gygus. Got multi balls were dead. Excuse me, my multi ball didn't work. What? How dare you tell me my multi ball didn't work? Um. I. <laughs> I don't know what what to do, honestly. Uh, more offense up. Fuck it. The more offense, the more better. More defense! Let's do that as well. Actually, Paula should really heal up. More offense! More offense! Oh, wait a minute. I just realized I already said that Ness was already maxed out in offense. It's not right. It's not right. Well, this is underwhelming. <laughs> I was about to say, this is underwhelming to say the least, but why the fuck is Blue the only one who's getting, like, absolutely shit on? Uh. Oh, I can use it on anyone! Let's go! I can just keep on using it to fucking, um, Ness! Uh, fuck it. Offense up! <laughs> Offense up, baby! <laughs> it's gonna work one of these days. Offense up! We're gonna have, we're gonna have the biggest shield known to mankind. <laughs> I'm just fucking with everyone over here at this point. I'm so sad in this. Yeah, this isn't really much of a fight considering that these are the numbers that Gygus is doing to me. Come on! Come on, Pooh! You gotta show up to the battle just a little bit. Yes sir, defense shower. And that still isn't enough for a PSI rocking. God damn it. Why can't I give this to Jeff? What the actual fuck? Hypnosis paralysis against Gygus again, the embodiment of fucking evil? I don't think so. <laughs> More offense! More offense! More shield! <laughs> I am not gonna get tired of this at all. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have given a, I probably should have given another brain lunch to fucking S. More offense! You can never have enough offense. More defense! You can never have enough defense. Oh, yeah, I can't really do anything over here. Although, I would very much love it if you were to give me a brain food lunch. Actually, fuck! You know what I should have done? I should have gotten those magic truffles from Escargo Express! I never used them! God damn it! Um, <laughs> Jeff, my boy, more defense. Actually, no. Let's try the multi ball one more time. Let's see if this works. Hopefully, in theory, the multi ball should work against the embodiment of evil. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be very upset. And oh my god, I still have more multi balls. Um, honestly, Pooh, you just need you just need some some more PowerPoint and whatnot. Yes, sir. Multi bottles did not work. Well then, Jeff, you're on defense duty. For the, re for the rest of the game, you're on defense duty. More offense, more offense, more defense, more shield. Yeah, I think I fumbled the bed. I should have given the magic truffle. <laughs> I should have got my magic truffles. But look at that, though! 
Oh, what? I maxed out of offense? No shot, I maxed out. <laughs> I feel good. No shot, I actually maxed out. Holy shit. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of me actually maxing out? Uh, bag of Dragonite. Fuck, what are you gonna do, Jeff? I don't want you to need... Please, for the love of God, no neutralizer. I guess shoot for the time being. Boo, you know what to do. More shield! More shield! Unlike defense and offense, the shield cannot, <laughs> cannot be maxed out. Go back. Shit, shit, no, 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 Fuck, oh, 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 oh. Okay, fuck it, fuck it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. No! Damn it! Wait a minute, why are you PSI rocking? What the hell? I am messing up now. Uh, shit. Oh, uh, goods. Horn of life, poo. We need him. I just also, I just also realized this means, this means that fucking Pooh's shield was fucking destroyed now. God damn it. Ah, uh, this this don't this don't look too good for me right now. Can I use more defense? More defense for Pooh? More defense. Okay, okay. Okay, no. Who still keeps his, his offense and defense? That's at least good. That's good to, for me to know at, at the very least. Um, I am grasping at straws here. Holy shit. Am I sure that I can't use defense down on Gygus? Once again, the embodiment of evil. Also, Poo, for the love of God, you need some more water. You need to be, you need to be hydrated, my boy. Then on work on guys. Love, love to see that. Absolutely love to see that. Is he moving faster, or is his dad just me? No, nope, that's Jeff. Uh, it's more of a loop, I guess. I don't know. Uh, just keep shooting at him, I guess. Uh, let's hear, let's hear, let's hear. Uh, fuck! I don't have enough for Starstorm. Come on, Pooh, at least get the 40 uh, PSI powers that I was promised you were gonna get. Holy shit! Now imagine if I had the gutsy bat. Oh come on! Don't get solidified. No! 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 Uh. Come on, Pooh. Just besides Starstorm, your share of the guy is. That's what I like to see, baby. That's not what I like to see, though. God damn it! God damn it, Pooh! Why are you always the one taking the most damage? All right, how the fuck does Gigas dodge? Like, what the fuck does he do? What does he do to, in order to dodge? Um. But once again, I am grasping at straws here. More water. More hydration. More. Ness, 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 ness. Is he having like a stroke or something? God damn it, poo! Uh, PSI, Star Storm. Yeah. 
embodiment of evil, ladies and gentlemen. Embodiment of evil. God damn it, when? How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Pooh, <laughs> gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. It hurts, Ness. What does- what hurts? Actually, no, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Jeez, this is- <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the embodiment of evil, and he's having- I don't- I don't even know if I want to say if he's having trouble or whatnot. I feel like I'm having trouble because I'm just throwing shit at him. I feel like I'm not doing anything at all. If I swear to God, if I find out that that, that, it's, that this is like the same shit that Belch does, I'm gonna be uber pissed off. Um, <laughs> I am. I I don't even know what's going on at this point in time. I am using everything. No, to mankind! Yes, 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 I better think of something quickly because I am running low on resources. Alright. I had to look at it. I'm sorry, I had to look it up because <laughs> I have no fucking clue what's been going on this entire time. <laughs> and I'm running, I am really running low on resources here. But, supposedly, 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 oh shit, I need Paula to pray. So, pray she will. Brain, a brain food lunch to Ness. Yes, yes, yes. I cannot grasp the truth for. Shh. Are you kidding me? Please give us strength if it is possible. Please help us. Are you f choking me? Right when I found out of th that I needed Paula to help me out. All of the Mr. Saturns felt a new startling feeling they had never experienced before, and they all started praying for the safety of Ness and his friends. Gragas' defenses became unstable. Let's go! He's becoming unstable now! Fuck! This is a problem. This is a general. <laughs> this is a genuine problem. Ah, ah, ah! Please, Paula, don't, don't die on me. Don't die on me now, Paula. Uh, I almost feel like at this point in time, I should just defend. If I know that, if I know that, the, if I know that, oh, fuck, I cannot fucking speak. If I know that the answer is Paula's prey, then at this point in time, I should just... I should just defend. Should I not? Thank you very much, Paula. Go back, Ness. I'm happy. Alright, guys. Christianity is on my side. I can't believe I'm saying that. Christianity is on my side. We are gonna pray the absolute shit out of you. Shit. Shit. Come on, Paula. Give us strength. Anyone who can hear, please help us. Oh, 
Oh, he's at the Runaway 5. Let's go. Let's go. They didn't forget about me. Suddenly, one of the Runaway 5 felt something stop him. And he prayed fervent fervently for the safety of Ness and his friends. Okay. Well, I guess. Actually, no. Polly, you pray. Jeff, you defend. Pooh, you heal. Uh. Yes. Heal Jeff. You, heal Jeff. You, pray. Please give us strength. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. Yes, my people. Give me more offense, more defense, more shield. All right, Paula's parents. Holy shit, they got the whole school. Paula's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice. He prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. I guess I swear, if you're gonna be a dick and like snap everyone out of existence like Thanos did. Like, everyone who's praying for me. If you're just gonna snap them all, just like that. That's kind of a dick move right there, buddy. God damn it. Uh, defend. You pray. You defend. You defend as well. Friends, I'm so sad in this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Embodiment of evil. Fuck off. What do you mean? <laughs> Why do you get to attack first? What the fuck? Yes, please, Paula. Please pray harder. God, Jeff is almost dead. Oh, it's all of just buddies. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. God damn it, boy. Tony, I miss you, bro. And not in the gay way, but I mean like in a homie way. You're my homie. Come on, I did more damage to fucking Gygus, and this is what I have to do? Come on. Come on. You. Heal. <laughs> Heal. Well, Jeff. Actually, at this point in time, do I really want to heal anyone other than Paula? Ah yes, all of Pooh's bitches. Pooh, the man with infinite bitches, are gonna pray for us. Thank you guys. <laughs> A young woman in Dalam woke up from a dream in which Prince Pooh died, and she began to pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends. Three hundred fifty. I can still do more. It hurts. So what the fuck is Gygus even going on about? Like, why is he sad? Why is he getting hurt? What's going on with him? Like, for real, for real. <laughs> like, is, is there something about Gygus that I don't know about? So why am I doing PSI? I should be doing Prey. Is he like... Gigiri or whatnot from... Earthbound Beginnings? Please grant us strength. Anyone who can hear her, please, we ask for this. Yes! More! <laughs> I need more prayers! Suddenly, Frank recalled Ness's shining young face and began to pray diligently for the safety of Ness and his friends. Yo, my boy Frank, all the way from episode 3, 2, something like that? Okay, now we're dealing big damage. Huge damage. 815. I, I I really think like a guy is about to have like a fucking stroke or something. Yo, what the fuck? 
Why? Why? <laughs> don't. Don't like. Uh, die and like don't get solidified or anything like that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Can we stop ganging up on Pooh? What did he do to you? Thankfully, I still have some healing. Uh, pray you defend. Yes, 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 Alright, I get it, I get it, I get it. Why do you get to attack first? God damn it! Ness, please he <laughs> heal poo. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. Suddenly, Ness's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. I'm happy to see that my sister and king remembers. Okay, I get it. Big damage, big damage. Wait, come on! Come on! <laughs> okay, okay, at least Pooh's revived. Okay, what is actually going on now? This guy is, is freaking the fuck out. Brain food lunch to Ness. You defend. Um, you defend as well. <laughs> uh, I am not liking what I'm seeing here right now. I am not liking this at all. Uh, life of Paula. You defend. You defend. Wait, no. You pray. What am I saying? And you, uh, life up on yourself, because you need it, desperately. I can't think of anyone else. Someone, anyone, please help us. Paul's call was absorbed by the darkness. Wait a minute, I just remembered. Paula was the one with telepathy. Oh, dog, dog. We're not even gonna start on this. Just life up, life up. Help her out, help her out. Paula was the one with telepathy, so her, her, her actual call was actually heard by people. Cause I know she used telepathy on me and she used it on Jeff to try to uh, call us out and whatnot. Someone, can you hear me? Please give us strength. Give me more offense. Paula and her friends' calls touched the heart of I.E. I.E. Wait a minute, are you talking about me? Are you saying that I heard it? I.E.? That The only other person who has his name I.E. X.E.V. Oh, come on, dog. <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? I, I give you my prayer. I give you my prayer. Yes, I am praying for you guys to beat the absolute living shit out of Gygus. Look at him! You're damn right I kept praying. I don't want to die. I don't want you guys to die. Holy shit! This did even more damage than the multi bottle. <laughs> I don't think Gygus like that. Ness! Now I... Well, it's going to seem like I'm running away, but perhaps I'll just sneak away into another era to think about my new pl next plan. It's a good bet that we will see each other again. Alright, I'll be seeing you. So now, which one of us do you think is the cool guy? Wait a minute, are these... 
Okay, I thought I thought he said cool guy and then I, but no. Oh, Pokey's gone. Guy just does not look. He's looked like he's had some better days. I think someone changed the channel. This isn't channel 5. What kind of channel is this? Am I supposed to press the A button? Nope, no, no, no. Oh no! Guys, no, come on! The war against Gygus is over. Guys, please, come on! Don't do this! Get up! Get up! <laughs> come on, come on, Jeff! Come on, Paula! Come on, Pooh! Come on, Ness! Get up! We still haven't finished our adventure yet! Come on now! Come on! <laughs> please, for the love of God, get up! Guys, please get up. This joke isn't funny anymore. Hey! <laughs> Would you look at that? Yes. <laughs> Wake up. Ah, yes. All of our souls, all of our spirits are coming back. They have to travel through space and time or something. I'm also really glad I was actually able to save Pooh. <laughs> Thank God he didn't die to go, I guess. That last prayer actually would have fucked him over. Yes, sir! We got everyone back! Yes, sir! Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the good of my country. Come on, Pooh! You're just gonna bail right away? Ness. Paula, Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. Be yes, I farewell now. I'll see you again someday. But look at that, we got presents galore. What's this, Jeff? Paula. Ness. It was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If. Just maybe. Well, if you get- if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Andana. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is goodbye now. For now, my friends. Ness, will you escort me home? Wow, she she took no hesitation whatsoever. <laughs> what if I said yes? What if I what if I am the ladies' man or whatnot? That's all of you, but I have to go back to just being a regular kid. Gotta get going. 
Ah, fuck this. I'm not- I'm not taking- Fuck. <laughs> no. I'm not taking the initiative. No. Oh, <laughs> uh, really? That's it? We have a... uh, what do we have over here? There's a letter from kids inside. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come again and play with us at the Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us a presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Polestar Preschool. Aww, that's nice. Ah! Oh! I thought I could have dropped it. I thought I could have dropped it. Letter from mom! Mother! Is that you? Yes, sir! Ernest, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat steak as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Pacey, King, and I are waiting for you. Of Mama. Oh, Mom! I'm not throwing this away! I'm not! Letter from Tony! Yo! Jeff! It's your boy, Tony! Dear Jeff, everything's really go- Everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. Can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. It's truly Tony. Yes, don't show this letter to anyone. Uh, Jeff, you, you might want to see this, my boy. Fun hanging out together. It's a miracle! A miracle that has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. You should have used a phase disorder. What a story that would have been. Scientist and four kids saved the world! <laughs> the chance of Gygus gaining victory with his monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gygus fails. I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. Well, my boy, if if anyone knows anything about odds, is that as long as you put your heart and soul into it, you can beat the odds. The odds don't define you. Look at this star pendant. That was a less than 1% chance, and yet I still got it. I got three of them. <laughs> Incredible. Excellent. I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on a job well done. If we ever have the chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes too. It was in winters that we last met? I just got here. <laughs> so fuck! My controller fell. Actually. Actually. Uh, Jeff, do you want this? Ah, Ness, you've read it already. That Tony has a heart of gold. Well, <laughs> I guess there's no point in dilly dallying around. You know what? I'm taking the long way home. I know I'm teleporting and all, but I'm taking the long way home. Oh yeah, though <laughs> I know I said I was taking the long way, but I'm gonna take the really long way. I'm looking at this ending guide over here, and it's telling me about all the cool things that I've said that I can check out and whatnot. But the thing is, is like, it's it is gonna be like a lot of dialogue. It is gonna be a lot of me traveling and whatnot. And the thing is, this probably is gonna already look like an hour <laughs> episode to me. So uh, I think I might just forego on it, just because I've already foregone on a lot of things already. Yes, sir. And we still got the epic bus ride music. Yes, sir. What better way to go back then with an epic bus ride? Hey, yeah, like I said before, there are a lot of things that I could do and I could check out, but the thing is, I don't need to. <laughs> and that's the beauty of it. There are a lot of things that I could have done, and yet I didn't do at all. Like, for example, I could have won in this lottery machine over here. Yeah, that one over there, I could have won there, but you know what? I didn't. 
I could have gotten the Gutsy Bat, but you know what? I didn't. I could have gotten the God Distributed, but you know what? I didn't. You see where I'm going here? Uh, no, sir. My good sir. Please keep on going. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like it's the fitness. This looks like the ending of Earthbound to me. I'm kind of sad, not gonna lie. This was a, a much more enjoyable experience. I really do enjoy it. Dare I say, I'll probably play it again on my spare time. Maybe do a 100% complete run. Who knows? Mm hmm? God damn, I wish I could stream. Maybe I could have done a speed run. Sheesh, imagine that! A speed run for me on Earthbound. And nah. I got other shit to do, actually. Oh, and ironically, I actually have other shit to do. Uh, no, my good man. Keep on going to Tucson. <laughs> I will say, even though. Even though parts of Gygus' battle was a little underwhelming, the fact that I still died during it just I don't I don't know if that I don't know if I should take that as a sign of me being bad or just like a sign of like well Gygus is the fucking embodiment of evil and whatnot. The thing that I'm concerned about now is what What about Pokey? Where does his story go on? Where does his story continue? Because I would assume this isn't the last. This shouldn't be the last we hear from him. God damn it! If I find out that he's in Mother Three, I'm a bit. But yeah. Would you look at that? I was right about Pokey being in cahoots with Gygus. Who was right all this time? Go, oh, my boy, smiling. Ness, thank you for escorting me home. There's something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'll remember it by the time I see you again. Guess this is it. Bye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. Wait, Paula. Where are you? <laughs> I need to give you your letter. It was good, G. Move. <laughs> Hey, your cat's here. Yeah. Here, take your letter. No! <laughs> Wait, no, that, that's, that's my letter. Don't read that. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes, I guess it's time for you to go home. Everyone's probably worried about you. Uh, no, here. Take your letter. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Whatever, I guess... Well, I guess uh, Jeff didn't take his letter, so I guess there's no point in me giving you the letter as well. Alright. Guess it's me. Guess it's old buddy old Ness now. Old buddy old pal. But you know... Now that it's just me... Now that it's just me... I could... Do something. Damn it, which one of these guys have a phone? I need a phone here, people! Does anyone have a phone? Come here to get your investment money back! No? Can you wait a little longer? I promise I'll finish my brilliant invention. <laughs> God damn it, he, he conned me out of $200. You know what? Even though he conned me out of $200, i am still stacked. I have 11 k Yes, I need a phone. People, do you not have a phone? Do you not have a phone? Hello, people. <laughs> Sir, I will take this phone. I will call Escargo Express. This doesn't work here anymore. Yeah, she used to work here part time. S J. Heard about the great work that you're doing. It's an honor to talk to you, sir. Very sorry, my wife's out on maternity leave, so I'm taking care of my other kids. I decided to take some time off the delivery business. Extra fresh put on. Sorry about that. I'm a little busy right now, as you heard. I'd really like to hear some of your stories. Dogs, that was a dog suit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What's going on? Damn it! Come on, dog! Come on! I wanted to get my bicycle back! 
This is like the one time I can use the bicycle again. I haven't used that bicycle in forever. I couldn't use it at all when I had the teddy bear. I couldn't use it at all when I had Paula. I want my bicycle back, bro. I want to go biking in the town. Wait a minute, you think he's gonna give me another bike? Monsignor, give me another bike. Yes. Oh, come on! No! Oh, I'm never getting that bike back now, am I? Oh, fine then. I'll take the long way home. I'll take the even longer way home. Man. I just wanted to do an epic bike ride. What's so wrong with an epic bike ride? Oh, well, yes. I don't know. I guess exercise for Nest. Or I need the exercise more than he does. He just fucking saved the world. I think he deserves a fucking rest. My bike. My actual bike. Oh, this is the worst ending that could have happened here. Ugh. <laughs> I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I keep talking about it, but that actually, like, saddens me that I can't get the bike now. I mean, it kind of makes sense, considering that Tracy was the one giving, giving me... <laughs> Tracy was technically the one who kind of had the stuff with her. So, it kind of makes sense that since she's no longer working there, I can't <laughs> really get my bike. I'm home, I guess. Mom, I'm home. Hey, hold on. Hey, Dad, guess what? <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Ness. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely, but want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more... mature over the fall. See you at home, then. Yo, can I still get mock pizza? Our delivery man got tired and quit. Aww. That's sad. What about Stoke Club? Yo, this is the lazy cow poke stop and go. Yeah, we're a new truck stop. We just opened. Was that the Stoic Club? That lame old place shut down ages ago. We totally remodeled the place. I right, got loud music, great food, and really rowdy crowds. Listen, buddy, I'm too busy to talk with you right now. Drop by any time. You come in and you join, I promise. I see. What's good, King? Other dogs haven't figured it out yet, but I know that you guys saved the world. Woof. Hold on, before I talk with you, I want to at least talk with Tracy. If she has anything to tell me. Maybe I can get my bike? Tracy bike? Goody, my brother's back. You've got a lot of catching up to do with your school work. Really? Not all heroes wear capes, I guess, but still though, <laughs> what the fuck? I save some money so we'll do lunch things. I uh, no girlfriend, you must... Uh, yes, yes. Wait, no, not store, not store. Go back, go back. Yes. Check out. Yes, sir! No, 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 no. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's like when I was talking to you on your... Wait, what? Go back. Uh, oh, come on! Okay, do you need anything else? No. We'll take care and talk to you later. Oh, I said take care. This slipped out of my mouth. Just like when I was talking to you when you were gone. Hey, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna be gone for more than one minute. Hold on, Mom. Before before you go all ballistic on me and shit and whatnot, I would just like to do this one thing. No, not that. Yes, sir! We got the bike back! We got the bike back! Yes, sir! <laughs> oh, come on. Let me go through. I wish I can whistle. I, I wish I can whistle the song, but I'm pretty sure it's going to sound awful on mic recording and whatnot. Alright. What we got over here? Do you have anything to say about your brother? Salutations. You're the boy living next door. I heard your family's in debt. Miss Minch told me about it. 
Live and learn, you just have to keep plugging away. Wait a minute, Poke? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? As usual, you're wearing your grubbies, so what do you want? My son isn't at home right now, he's walking around somewhere. My husband's also gone. Oh yes, this is Mr. Pretty Man. He always has great advice, he's a real gentleman he is. I'll be happy that met him. So what, does she like divorce and remarry or something? What about Picky? I haven't seen you in a while. You look cool. Nowhere near as cool as you. I'm just average cool. Oh, well you know what? I'd rather have you be average cool than be what your brother became. And your brother just became a dick. <laughs> That's what he became. Just an absolute dick. Well, I've had my fun in the run. Mother, I am back home. Please feed me some steak. Wow, you become such a strong young man. I like to hear all your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you you met on your adventure. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. What? I... But I'm done. Hello? What? You finished doing everything you wanted to? Yes, I said it before. <laughs> I don't want to look through everything else because this episode is already way too long. Okay, now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Hey, Pokey, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you in particular. Hey, Buzz Buzz, I haven't seen you in who knows how long. Clear X Aggregate. You were the motherfucker who got... Who, who got everything fucked up and shit and whatnot. Whatever. Holy shit, these are... These are a lot of guys who I haven't heard from in a long time. On that police force, the worst in the business. Damn, you gave Paul, you gave Pokey's mother and father their name, but you didn't for Paul. Okay. I guess it's time for me to give you my thoughts on <laughs> Earthbound. Hey, yes, sir, the Runaway Five tour bus, let's go. But um, I definitely. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed Earthbound 100% more than I did fucking Earthbound Beginnings. 100% more. I would 100%, 1000%, 1010% would prefer you guys to play Earthbound over Earthbound Beginnings. It, you, I guess you could argue that Earthbound just is a little bit more easier. Also, fuck you, Brick Rub. But the thing is, like, <laughs> unless, unless, like, you are a hardcore oh, there goes face disorder unless like you're a hardcore like old school rpg kind of guy or a hardcore like earthbound kind of guy eh, you can kind of skip um you can kind of skip fuck you master belch you can kind of skip uh earthbound beginnings that's what i'm trying to say here I'm not trying to shit on it but like it deserves a little bit of shitting <laughs> it's a little too cryptic for my liking but I wouldn't call it a bad game. I wouldn't call it a bad game. Earthbound on the other hand, ooh la la, this is a good game. Yes, there were some things that I did need just a little bit of help in searching and whatnot. But, I was able to at least fully enjoy playing this game and whatnot. You could, you could also argue that I had way too much help with my powers of time and space and whatnot. I, I won't lie to you, I did, but I have some news for you people. Next game, Mother 3, which is what I'll be playing. Yes, I will be finishing the trilogy, don't you worry. Next game, Mother 3. I am not going to be using the Pirates of Time and Space. I'll be doing it all legitimately. 
through translation as well, so hopefully that works out in the end. Yeah, um, Earthbound. Damn, it was a, a great RPG. It was a great traditional RPG. I don't recall the last time I really played a traditional RPG. I guess you could call Delta Room one. You could definitely call Delta Room one. That's more of a special. That's more of a special kind of RPG. Not a traditional one. I could be wrong though. That's just my opinion though. Yeah, Earthbound was just a really fun experience. <laughs> I had a lot of fun playing it. And I had a lot of fun recording it. More so. Thanks, as I mentioned before. Alright, photo man, are you gonna give me one last photo or whatnot? Yep, he's gonna give me one last photo. I guess I shouldn't complain. You're damn right, I'm gonna say fuzzy pickles, so fuzzy pickles! Thank you very much. Hey, would you look at that? That's my little home in on that. Wait a minute, this is gonna be all the pictures that I took throughout that I took all throughout the game? Yo, that's actually Pog! Shit! Maybe I shouldn't have been such an asshole to this guy. I was kinda of trying to breeze it through now that I'm thinking about it. Man, why did I have to be such an asshole and just breeze through the game how I wanted to I need to learn how to enjoy these games more because I'm not gonna have the opportunity, I'm not gonna have the chance to enjoy these games like I did before. Also, fuck. <laughs> I need to move the analog. Or else it looks like I'm sleeping mode. Now, I need to learn how to appreciate games more. I appreciate them just by playing them and not trying to be an asshole and try to breeze through them. I have... That's too much... That's too big of a problem for me. Damn. It's, <laughs> it's over. How many parts is this? This is like... Part 26, I believe, because I'm I'm working on editing part 25 right now. I believe so. Part 25? Yes, part 25. That was the one. This is 26. Sheesh, 26 parts. Can you believe that? That has been the longest series so far. That's saying something. But I'm at least glad I was able to actually finish this before it um, starts. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do what I've done before I'm not gonna like take a break or one or at least I hope I won't be able I hope I should not be able to take a break because I do enjoy recording I do enjoy editing I'm actually enjoying editing a lot more these days due to my creative reign and whatnot and you know I don't I don't like it when you no know, I don't give you guys content and whatnot Shit, I mentioned this on the Instagram for the podcast, but I was apologizing for releasing an episode one hour late. Yeah, I, I do enjoy doing this. I do enjoy sharing my thoughts and whatnot. I do enjoy playing the games, and you know what? I do enjoy actually making this commentary and whatnot. For far too long, I've been playing video games. Just me on the couch. Me not having a single word. Me not having a single, like, visible reaction or whatnot, and just playing them. I have had way too many experiences of that before. But I'm at least able to provide some commentary. Hopefully some entertainment as well. Ah, oh, damn, these are a lot of pictures. How many more do I have to go through? Actually, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> the, more that I, the more that I say, how long do I have left until this game, the more that's, me just, that's just me saying, how long before I can say this game can fuck up? No, that's not what I'm trying to say. Damn, I wish I played this game earlier. I, w I wish I was... I kind of wish I didn't use this guide! I wish I kind of did everything on my fucking first try. Shit! <laughs> I kind of wish I did everything on my Wii U now, not, not the Switch! Fuck! Oh no, I'm not gonna experience this again. No. I mean, I guess I can experience it again, but I'm just not gonna have the same. I guess the same experience. I can play it again. I'm just not gonna have like the same feelings on, or whatnot. God, and you know what? I actually have been playing. I actually have been like 
But when I go outside and whatnot, and just like walk around, <laughs> and ironically have like earthbound music on like my fucking like playlist and whatnot. Oh. Uh, I can definitely see like where like Undertale or I guess Deltarune got their inspiration from Earthbound. Cause damn, these these games are pretty similar actually <laughs> in their humor and whatnot. Um, I feel like I should shed a tear, and I generally feel like I can shed a tear now that this game is over and whatnot, and I'm not gonna be able to have a first-hand experience of Versbound, but yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. I don't know how else to put it. If you guys can play this game, you know, highly recommend playing Earthbound. It's a good game and... You'll have a good time playing it. A letter arrived from my brother Pokey. It is addressed to Ness. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, Come and get me, loser! Spankity, spankity, spank. I wonder where he is. Well then. My name is Pixel Love. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and whatnot. Take care, everybody. And please, play Airspan. It's a good game. And tomorrow, see you guys in the next series.